So we're going to briefly comment about this. So this is on covered really by Inconvenient Truths with uh, Jennifer Jung. Uh, regarding the, uh, here's the thing, if she didn't report about this issue, I would have never known about this person called Angela, Angela Zhao, uh, Angela Chow or something. Uh, basically, uh, here's my opinion about that. Jennifer mentions that it's, she seems to suggest it is strange that the, the world isn't covering it. It's not on, uh, it should be way bigger news, whereas people don't even hear about it. Uh, my opinion is this. She says to the effect that Angela, Angela Chow is, is something basically, um, you know, very, to the effect that they're very important to the Chinese community. First, my, my own take is that she's not Chinese. Isn't she associated with Elaine Chow, Taiwanese, who was married, who is married to Mitch McConnell, the sister of Elaine? The father is basically, I, to the best of my knowledge, they, her family, they're they're not Chinese, they're Taiwanese. So, and the person, I don't see them as a big deal. Why is Angela such a big deal? I know people who are way bigger. I don't I don't mean to defame the family, but there's. I know people who are way bigger than the so-called ceiling family. How are they even a big deal? First, to me, they're not Chinese. They're they're not. So are they are they some big deal in like a small circle of Chinese? Where I would expect Taiwanese Americans as opposed to Chinese. Okay, there's a big difference there. You have to understand that Taiwanese are not Chinese. Chinese are not Taiwanese. Just want to be clear. Okay, so. Um, so I don't see how she's that important. I don't. Again, I don't mean no disrespect to the family, but the the circumstances of her death that people go to inconvenient truth. Look at what Jennifer has to say. All credits to her. Well, not necessarily all credits to her because this is now kind of public knowledge. Because uh, in terms of her death, you, no, no, I'm not talking about Jennifer. I'm talking about the uh, Ang Angela, Angela, this the CEO's death. <laughs> <laughs> no, no confusion there. Okay, sorry for the confusion. Okay, Angela's death. In terms of Angela's death, um, if she was, I don't know if she was driving a Tesla, but here's the thing, uh, Jennifer, you just veered into the territory of death, mystery, missing persons. Uh, if her car veered into a ditch, okay, and she was recovered, they did emergency medicine on her, uh, you know, CPR first aid or whatever, they couldn't revive her. This is a thing that's played out time and again. If you follow adventures with a purpose. Um, at this time, this is kind of interesting, your angle, um, with the, there was, how you mentioned there was fake news uh, that was not corrected. Again, that's, that's credit to Jennifer. Okay. To me, I don't think there's any, I don't think there's anything to it. I think Occam's razor, I think, I personally think it was an accident. Um, her family with her, you know, whether or not her family, what, whatever their business dealings might be, I don't know. I don't want to conjecture. I don't want to defame. I don't want to conjecture. But there should be no China connection to it because, uh, uh, in my opinion, she's just not important in terms of politics. Um, who can I think of that uh, that China might not di di might dislike? Which I also think it's silly. There was this dude, listen, called Guo Wen Gui. Uh, he was on a yacht talking about how he wants to create a new federal states of China. Okay, this is the same thing that I said. Um, the Chinese government goes into paranoia overdrive in silencing critics. First of all, no disrespect, Falun Dafa is not a threat to the Chinese state. Uh, Guo Wengui is not a threat to the Chinese state. What, is he raising an army in New York? Is the CIA training, uh, you know, legions of Guo Wengui's alternative new China government troops? Oh, are they going to launch, are they going to launch the attempt to retake mainland China? Based, is he trying to be Zhang Kai-shek? No, none of you guys are threats to the Chinese government. And when the Chinese government goes overboard, 
uh, you know, these alleged overseas state police stations, they're just overreacting, okay? The, the, the Chinese government has all these nuclear armaments. They don't need to feel threatened by Guo and Gui with the, on, with the boat and Steve Bannon where he's talking about this is a blood oath. You, okay, if in Chinese culture there's a blood oath, okay, where... You know how people who are not related, right? This is kind of Chinese culture. If I if I want to become blood brothers with Kenny, there's this idea. Don't do that. That's that's you know under that's kind of like self harm or something. But basically, there's a tradition. You have this blood oath, or the word either you sign it in blood, or you become uh you know adopted blood brothers by each person shaking their hand in their blood, and now now you've conjoined blood, and now you're brothers, even if you're not part of the same clan tribe. Uh, you know, if you're not part of the same kinship group, if you're not part of the same tribe. If you don't belong to the same clan and direct family descent, so this 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 is, has nothing to do with communism, okay? Karl Marx would laugh their ass off and call it superstition, but these are feudal, you know, blood oaths kind of thing, okay? So Chinese culture didn't disappear with communism. So there's a lot of old traditions, but to me, I don't think Angola has anything to do with some anything to do with any type of you know conspiracy. And quite frankly, the reason why news media is not reporting about it is I don't think there's any suppression. I think they're not important. I, I, uh, there, there is, there's some rich Taiwanese married uh, who's connect, you know, the, the sister connected Mitch McConnell. Who the hell cares about freaking Mitch McConnell? He's some he's an American bourgeois politician in their bourgeois system.